Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In this video, we will cover the second part of the multiple choice questions from the section 1 of pharmacology, that is uh, pharmacological, general pharmacological principles. If you are first here in this YouTube channel, please press the NS Pharma YouTube channel subscription button and also press the bell button so that you will get the messages of new videos whenever I upload new one. So we can go for the first question of this video. Intradermal drug sensitivity test can detect the presence of following type of hypersensitivity. Options type 1 anaphylactic, type 2 cytolytic, type 3 retarded and option D all of the above. Question was intradermal drug sensitivity test that is intradermal drug sensitivity test can detect the presence of which type of hypersensitivity the correct answer is option a type 1 anaphylactic next question question number 22 the most appropriate route of administration for adrenaline in the case of anaphylactic shock we know that in case of anaphylactic shock the we are using adrenaline so for that administration, which route we have to prefer? Intra cardiac, intra venous, intra muscular, subcutaneous. The correct answer is option C, IM, intra muscular. Next question, question number 23. It's which of the following is the only life saving measure in case of anaphylactic shock? Intra venous hydrocortisone hemisuccinate, intra venous chloramphenicol malleate, intra muscular adrenaline intravenous glucose saline the correct answer is option c that is im adrenaline injection that's what we studied in the previous question also next question question number 24 drug producing allergic reaction generally act as complete antigen haptans antibodies media it is so if you don't know the answer please I mean, note it on these questions and answer uh, you can pause the video in between okay so the question number 24 the correct answer that is a uh, drug producing allergic reactions genetic generate act as haptans option b is the correct answer next question question number 25 which of the following is a type b that is unpredictable or bizarre advised drug reaction options are side effect toxic effect idiosyncrasy physical dependence so option a side effect option b toxic effect idiosyncrasy physical physical dependence the correct answer is option c idiosyncrasy next question question number 26 significant tolerance does not develop significant tolerance does not develop to the following action of morphine options are analgesia euphoria sedation meiosis meiosis option d is the correct answer meiosis tolerance does not develop to meiosis next question question number 27 drug accumulation is the basis of organ drug accumulation is the basis of organ toxicity of the following drug when used for prolonged period options are prednisolone chloroquine aspirin hydrolyzine correct answer is 27b chloroquine chloroquine Next question, question number 28. In patients with uh, renal insufficiency, the clearance of the following drug is reduced parallel to the reduction in creatinine clearance. Which is that drug? Propanol, digoxin, lignocaine, verapamil. Correct answer is option B, digoxin. These questions you can uh, expect in the coming exams, pharmacist competitive exams. As... Uh, if it is d based or even for the b based also this is very important questions these are important questions so you can expect this question you you can use this video as a revision of what are, what are the things you already studied so we are moving to the next question question number 29 which of the following is true of placebos a placebo is a dummy medication option b a placebo is the inert material added to drug for making tablet placebo does not do not produce any effect question i mean option d 
all patients respond to placebos the correct answer is option a placebo is a dummy medication placebo is a dummy medication next question question number 30 the following drug adverse effect is specific, specially noted in man compared to woman the following drug adverse effect is specially noted in man compared to woman tardive dyskinesia due to neuroleptics levodopa induced abnormal movement ampicillin induced loose motion ketoconazole induced loss of libido the correct answer is ketoconazole induced loss of libido of question number 31 the following is a competitive antagonist of GABA but a non-competitive antagonist of diazepam options are picrotoxin hmm. misimol flumazenil bicuculin the correct answer is option d bicuculin next question question number 32 the antidotal action of sodium nitrite in the cyanide poisoning is based on physical antagonism chemical antagonism physiological antagonism non-competitive antagonism the correct answer is option b chemical antagonism we are moving to the next question question number 33 if the effect of combination of two drugs is equal to the sum of their individual effect the two drugs are exhibiting potentiation, synergism, cross tolerance, antagonism. Correct answer is synergism. Question number 34. The therapeutic index of a drug is a measure of its safety, potency, efficacy, dose, variability. The correct answer is option A. Safety. Next question. Question number 35. Which of the following is always true? Which of the following is always true? A more potent drug is more efficacious. A more potent drug is safer. A more potent drug is clinically superior. A more potent drug can produce the same response at lower doses. The correct answer is option D. A more potent drug can produce the same response at lower doses. Which of the following drug exhibits therapeutic window phenomenon? Options are captopril, fruzimide, diazepam, imipramine. The correct answer is imipramine. Next question, question number 37. Since I had to cover this all question, 50 questions and along with some uh, extra points, that's why I am going a little bit faster. If you are finding any difficulty to follow me, just to pause the video in between and read the question correctly. And uh, if you don't know the answer, note it down the answers. Okay. And if you are... If you like this video please uh, subscribe and also share with your pharmacy friends next question question number 37 all of the following observe as intracellular second messenger in receptor mediated signal transduction except so the question was second messenger in receptor mediated signal transduction except cyclic amp inositol triphosphate and that is ip3 di Acylglycerol, DAG, G protein. The correct answer is G protein. G protein is not a second messenger. It's a receptor. Next question, question number 38. The following receptor has an intrinsic ion channel. Options are histamine, H1 receptor, H2 receptor, adrenergic alpha receptor, GABA benzodiazepine receptor. The correct answer is option D, GABA benzodiazepine receptor. Let's have iron, I mean uh, intrinsic ion channel. This is a very important, it's we will study in the in uh, coming videos. It's a mechanism related of uh, many of many drugs are acting through this uh, receptor. As we can see in the coming chapters. Next question, question number 39. Which of the following is a G protein coupled receptor? Which of the following is a G protein coupled receptor? Options are muscarinic cholinergic receptor, nicotinic cholinergic receptor, glucocorticoid receptor, insulin receptor. The correct answer is muscarinic cholinergic receptor. Next question receptor agonists possess affinity but no intrinsic activity. Intrinsic activity but no affinity. Affinity and intrinsic activity with a positive sign. Affinity and intrinsic activity with a negative sign. The correct answer is receptor agonist possess affinity and intrinsic activity with a positive sign. 
Next question, question number 41. Which of the following drugs can act by an enzyme in the body? Atropine, allopurinol, levodopa, metoclopramide. For this, you should know the mechanism of action. This one is a little bit it's described in the first chapter. That's why I made this question. The correct answer is allopurinols. Xanthine oxidase inhibitor. That's we will cover in the coming videos. Next question, question number 42. Monitoring plasma drug concentration is useful while using we have to monitor plasma drug concentration of which of the drug when they are using antihypertensive drugs levodopa lithium carbonate mao inhibitor the correct answer is lithium carbonate which is using for the mania for the treatment of mania next question question number 43 the loading dose of a drug is governed by its the loading dose which is governed by renal clearance plasma of life volume of distribution then elimination rate constant question was loading dose loading dose was governed by renal clearance plasma of life volume of distribution and elimination rate constant the correct answer is option c plasma i mean option c volume of distribution next question question number 44 if the clearance of a drug remains constant doubling the dose rate will increase the steady state plasma drug concentration by factor of 3 2 1.5 1.3 in this question clearance of the drug remains constant as clearance is cl is constant so the doubling the dose rate will increase the steady state plasma concentration also doubles that is option b is the current answer next question question number 45 if a drug has constant bioavailability and first order elimination that is following first order elimination elimination its maintenance dose rate will be directly proportional to its these questions are important in case of drug analyst exams because these are based on b farm uh, b farm exam i mean b farm syllabus so these questions little bit deeper uh, even though it's better to study this um, uh, defam guys also for the for those who is uh, really, who wants to prepare for the pharmacist exams also they can also study this one uh, maybe there is a chance for asking these questions also so the question 45 if a drug has a constant bioavailability and first order elimination its maintenance dose rate will be directly proportional to its options volume of distribution then uh, plasma protein binding lipid solubility total body clearance option d is the correct answer total body clearance next question question number 46 the plasma half-life of penicillin g is longer in the newborn because why penicillin g is acting longer in newborn the options are 46 plasma protein level is low drug metabolizing enzymes are immature glomerular filtration rate is low tubular transport mechanism are not well developed the correct answer is option d tubular transport mechanism are not well developed that is elimination will be less uh, next question question number 47 if a drug is excreted in urine at the rate of 10 milligram per hour at a steady state plasma concentration steady state of plasma concentration of uh, 5 milligram per liter then it's renal clearance this one you had to calculate if you don't know the calculation please uh, message me i mean uh, in the comment section i will try to uh, try to find i will give you the uh, this one explanation so here the question answer is option b 2 liter per hour Next question, question number 48. Glomerular filtration of a drug is affected by its lipid solubility, plasma protein binding, degree of ionization, and rate of tubular secretion. Question number 48, one more time. Glomerular filtration of a drug is affected by its, the correct answer is plasma protein binding. 
We are moving to the next question, question number 49. Which of the following types of drug metabolizing enzymes are inducible? Which of the following types of drug metabolizing enzymes are inducible? Microsomal enzymes, non-microsomal enzyme, both microsomal and non-microsomal enzyme, mitochondrial enzyme. The correct answer is option A. Microsomal enzymes are only inducible enzymes. Drug metabolizing enzymes are inducible. Next question 50. Last question of this video, but uh, along with this one, we will study some points also after this uh, 50th question. Which of the following is not a primary fundamental but uh, derived pharmacokinetic parameter? Bioavailability, volume of distribution, clearance, plasma of life. The correct answer is plasma of life. So, we are moving to some important points. Uh, acidic drugs will bind with. Uh, plasma protein albumin okay basic drugs will bind with alpha 1 acid glycoprotein acidic drug will bind with albumin while basic drug will bind with alpha 1 acid glycoprotein in some question paper we can see this question next we biotransformation is classified into two non-synthetic as well as synthetic non-synthetic also known as phase one as well as functionalization reaction phase two reaction and conjugation that is synthetic conjugation is one of the important thing uh, conjugation belongs to that is phase 2 reaction that is synthetic reaction next uh, metabolism inhibitor that is uh, some drugs are there they will inhibit the metabolism of another drug the example of these drugs are valproate simetidine i mean ketoconazole simetidine ciprofloxacin erythromycin inh these drugs name can be you can remember this one by through a code vitamin k can cause enzyme inhibition v for valproate k for ketoconazole c for simetidine c for ciprofloxacin e for an erythromycin i for inh that is isony acid next one enzyme inducer some drugs are there they will induce enzyme microsomal enzyme so that the metabolism of the drugs and the drugs will increases for this one, we can study this code GPRS cell phone, G for griseofulvin, P for phenytoin, R for rifampicin, S for smoking, C for carbamazepine, P for phenobarbital. So GPRS cell phone. Next therapeutic index. Therapeutic index, we can see that uh, it is the ratio of LD50 by AD50, that is median lethal dose divided by medium effective dose next one tachyphylaxis uh, this one definition i think you know this thing i am here just telling the name of the medicine it's coming under tachyphylaxis examples so one is uh, thyramine in the tachyphylaxis the first letter t that is thyramine then phylaxis ph you can see here ephedrine that is ph ephedrine tachyphylaxis is examples are tyramine and ephedrine thank you guys for watching this video and uh, share with your pharmacy friends you can expect more videos of coming chapters also this is just a starter only this is the section one now we will cover uh, almost all the subjects uh, next we will move to section i mean uh, pharmacology section two until that time bye bye thank you